Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody sent me this a while back on Facebook, and I apologize. Uh, I just found out there's more problems than we, I thought we had. He just wanted text to path, and don't send me any messages on Facebook. Uh, I don't look at them, and, or I should look at them, but I, I forget. So email me, leave me a message on one of the videos and I'll email you. So he wants text a path and we got two, three different paths here. You can't just add that to that. So we use the smart field tool. First of all, we're gonna set our nudge distance on a half of an inch. This badge is really small. And I'm gonna nudge that out of the way. I'm gonna nudge that out of the way. So I'm just filling in the void. And I'm not gonna do that one because it's, you'll get that after you see this. So grab all these. I'm gonna just put this out of the way for a second. Right click, left click, and the person draws really thick. I mean, not really thick. He draws in half point lines where I draw in here lines. And this is one of the reasons because you could, it's so much more precise. Now we're gonna, we're gonna do the first one, which is the police. And I'm gonna grab that node right there. I'm gonna left click, break apart. Grab that one, break apart. And when you do that, you see some nodes. And this node is going up toward that line so we can move it. That node is going down so we can move it. Now we can go to a range and we need to click on the whole thing, go to a range and break curve apart. And now we can get rid of that line. Now the top line is police, we're gonna bring it in. And there's a couple ways you could do that. You could nudge this line up, but this is just as easy to nudge the police up after you do it. Go to text, fit text to path, and when you get that red line, you're in the center. Click on your line, arrange, break text apart, grab your police and nudge it back over that 5.5 inches. 0 0.001, change your nudge distance and just nudge this guy up till you get to this, roughly the center. Delete that line and do the same thing for this line. Grab your shape tool. Click on that corner and break apart. Click on that corner, right click, break apart. This line is coming down, so I'm pretty sure it's that one. This line is going up, so I'm pretty sure it's that one. And for the video, I'll just get rid of all these other lines. Now, go up to range and break curve apart and grab the top one and delete it. There's our shape. The next word is temple, which is in the state of Texas, pretty close to where I live. Go to Texas, or go to Texas, go to text, fit text the path, and same thing, you're gonna get a yellow or a red line. But in this thing, it's so close that it, it can't really get there. But we can move it by this. Well, we don't wanna do that. This thing is so small. Uh, the badge is so small. I really don't know how to do this one because this is, I mean, we're, we're only moving at point. Let's try point zero zero. I mean, just, it's, um, uh, it's so small that you can't move it so little. There we did. I moved it by hand. Then click on your line, go to arrange and break apart, and then set your nudge distance back on a half of an inch. I don't know why this badge is so small. And the word temple is really filling up the whole spot, but we could change our nudge distance to 0 .001 and see if we can't nudge it up. That looks pretty good. It's I would make the text a little bit smaller. We're gonna do one more just for grins. Hopefully it'll work a little better than that last one did. 
we're going to do the exact same thing. And this one's got a little bit of a whoop in it that could cause you some trouble. So here's another way we could do it. We can put a line here. I grabbed the wrong tool. We can put a line here. I'm going to change your drawing line with nothing selected and also a CYMK. If you're an engraver, you need to make that in RGB. So I'm going to change your line to, I mean, you're not going to get this back, so you, I'm not going to change it, but I'm going to draw now on a hairline from about there to there. So this is another way to do this. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that part of the line. Delete that line. So this, this is good because it shows you another way. There's our line. Get the Newman. Letter's pretty big for that little bit of space, but we're going to try it. Text. Fit text the path. There we go. You, you saw the red line. I couldn't stay there very long because I was thinking I'd mess up. We're pretty much in the center. Go to arrange, break text apart. All that does is separates it from the line. Nudge it over 0.5. Whoop. And there again, it's right at the bottom, but that's because that's the line we use. 0 0.001. Just nudge that up. And then, of course, the number, same thing. I'm just going to put it in there manually. It doesn't have much of a curve. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.